Sex ed teachers of Reddit. What is the stupidest question you've ever gotten? A kid in my health class asked if you could keep sperm, like pets in a fish tank. When I was about 12 stroke 13 I asked my health teacher if people could get an orgasm with food. She answered me that it would depend on where do you put the food. I wasn't expecting that. My mom was raised in the Soviet Union. There was no health education. She got pregnant at 17. Married my dad etc. We started talking about health class and she blurts out I was so stupid that I thought you only got pregnant if you're in a certain position. Q horrified face and drop off subject. This was a question asked by me when I was in 7th grade. My teacher had explained what ejaculation was and for some reason. My 7th grade mind thought it was the boy equivalent to periods. I asked where boys put tampons. Yay. That was embarrassing. It makes sense. A period is where a woman gets rid of the eggs and ejaculation is where a guy gets rid of his sperm. Cousin was a health teacher for a while. Before he got his girlfriend pregnant and had to take a higher paying job. Irony. Anyway. This kid asked if he could get a gorilla pregnant because he wasn't interested in girls. The health teacher was telling us that the semen is alkaline and the coochie is acidic. A kid in my class blurted out, so old not that form of salt and water? I always hated the pictures of a STD riddled dong or coochie followed by the obvious joke doesn't everyone's look like that? Knew a kid that passed out after seeing those. Volunteered at a teen education program for Planned Parenthood in the late 80s. Had a 16 year old or so girl that had gotten pregnant but swore she had used the pill. Turns out she was inserting the pill into lady parts instead of ingesting orally. Not a teacher, but in high school our health teacher told us a story of a student, who was now graduated, who was told by her mother that if a boy poked her in the belly button she would get pregnant. Enter high school. During her junior year she was poked in the belly button by a boy in her circle group. So she slapped him and broke down into uncontrollable sobs. It took nearly half an hour to convince her that no she wasn't pregnant. Was taking a bath when about 8 months pregnant. X walks in. All color drains from his face and he panics. He thought the baby's umbilical cord was attached to my belly button and that with my belly button underwater, I was in fact drowning our child. It's a snorkel. In 4th grade health class a friend of mine raised his hand and asked if it was possible to break a boner like you can your arm. The teacher answered no, I've since learned that you can sprain it. We went the rest of the year thinking our boners were invincible, occasionally running around yelling super boner. What happen if a dong gets stuck in a coochie? When I was like 8, I used to think that getting a boner was bad. I was like worried I don't want to hurt my girl. How can this be fun for any of us? I heard about men being incapable of making love and needing Viagra. In my ignorant mindset, I though Viagra was used to make you go soft limp. I, as a girl, was amazed when I found out about erections because previously I didn't understand how sex could work with a flaxid dong. Comma if I make love underwater and get pregnant, will the baby be a mermaid? Dot. Responded with the deepest sigh ever and a slow turn to the next question. One boy, 13, told me he wasn't going to get his girlfriend pregnant because she always douched with coca cola after hooking up. Is it normal for one of your testicles to be smaller than the other two? If a white man hooks up with a black woman and then hooks up with a white woman can the white woman have a black baby? Can your boner fall off if it gets too hard? If erection lasts longer than 4 hours seek medical aid, so maybe. I'm not a teacher, but when I was pregnant with my first child I got in a huge argument with all of my other co-workers over the baby's location. I said it was in the uterus. They swore it was on top of the uterus. You think you know everything just cause you got pregnant for a few months? I've been a mother for 30 years. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah if it was on top of the uterus that would be one heck of an ectopic pregnancy. My school started health ed late and I lived in a more conservative household around 7th grade or 12 13 ish years old and I had heard from my older brother that you could wrap your dong and have intercourse with no consequences. That is. Pregnancy. Obviously he meant a condom I did not understand that. So after the teacher did her presentation mainly on abstinence I raised my stupid 7th grade hand and said what do you have to put your dong in to not get pregnant? The conversation went something like this. Comma teacher. 
What? What do you mean? Me. Like what material do you need paper or sponge or something? Teacher. Let's talk about this after class. So after the rest of the school day I report like a good little boy back to the classroom. Comma teacher. You realize this is a serious and very important class to your and the whole world's future right? Me. Yes I understand. But why did you call me down here? Teacher. Your question in class was very inappropriate and I think you should report to detention. My mind has been blown at this point. So I go to detention think about all of the things I should have said or done instead. I head home and choose to just ask my brother and the internet instead of sex ed teachers. TLDR. My mistake was asking any question about intercourse other than how quickly will my dong fall off afterwards in health class. Ah. The inquisitive mind of children. Detention. Not a health teacher, but I've had my younger brother come to me for help. He wanted me to buy him and his girlfriend plan B. Being the good older brother that I am, sometimes, I drove them to shoppers, and paid $40 for the plan B. She takes it, then I lecture them on safe ways to do the do. I see a dumb look on their faces. I immediately ask if they knew what condoms were for. His girlfriend, with a completely serious face, looked at me and said, but I don't like the taste of condoms. Yeah, that's right. He got his first BJ. Came into her mouth. She swallowed, and thought she was going to get pregnant. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Not a health teacher, but it's still relevant. I had a roommate in my first year of college who was extremely naive and didn't know anything about intercourse. Her family was very religious and didn't talk about that stuff. We had to explain to her what a lot of things were, but we assumed she knew the very basics. One day there's a few of us girls sitting around talking about doing the do. We brought up doing it yourself, so to speak, and wondered if she had ever tried it before. I yelled to her in the other room hey Emily, have you ever done it yourself before her response was um, uhh, I think it's happened to me before. We were all incredibly confused by this answer so we asked her to explain. She explained simply that she thinks it's happened to her once or twice before. Turns out she didn't even know what doing it yourself meant. She explained that she thought it was the tingly feeling you get when you like a boy. Is the G-spot where the gangsters hang out serious question this girl asked my senior year in high school. That depends on if you're into that, child. It wasn't stupid per se, but I'll never forget this one all girls class I taught. They asked, earnestly, when do boys get their period we told them never. And they wanted to know, what boys get instead. When we told them that there was no real equivalent for boys I thought there was going to be a riot. One of my friends in high school took health as a senior. After already having taken honors anatomy and physiology and AP biology he was in a class full of freshmen. So he played dumb the whole time. Whenever the teacher introduced a new organ or topic, for example, the metatarsals, he'd raise his hand and ask, with a straight, slightly confused face, is it where the dong goes? I would be laughing my ass off the entire time if they were in my class. My Russian Orthodox roommate once asked me, in a whisper a blowjob is the same as a quickie, right? Having intercourse so fast that it just blows right by? Took every ounce of willpower I had to not spontaneously combust from laughter. Once I delicately explained a BJ, she said, oh my god, people do that, with their mouth. That must be the most messed up thing a person can do. Dead serious, too. Not a health teacher, but in 7th grade English class my classmate asked a monk what the significance of the number 69 was. Yes we had Catholic monks as teachers, 69, as a number, had come up in a story. There were 3 numbers on a car that added up to 69. One of the more brash fellows in the class knew what it meant and started laughing and yelling 69. Small kid in the corner decided to ask the monk what it meant. The monk tried to dodge the question but the kid was annoyingly persistent. The monk then proceeded to awkwardly explain the position without using the words dong, coochie, or oral s. I came out of the discussion believing 69 was when you got naked and messed with each other's feet. Not a health teacher, but a friend of mine knew a guy who impregnated a girl because he wore the condom on his bad sack. Yeah, that guy colder used health classes. Or a brain. I'm not a health teacher, but I have gotten a couple questions that made me do a double take. The one that sticks out the most was when two girls were arguing in my class. 
I got them to stop and asked what was going on. One girl answered. Mr. Spodson, isn't it true that if the girl doesn't have an orgasm that they can't get pregnant before I could answer the other girl yells. No, dumbass. The girl can get pregnant anytime a boy pees in here I can't decide which is worse. That one girl was obviously being lied to by her inept, bumbling boyfriend. Or that the other girl learned about getting down and dirty from cart men. Not a health teacher but was a student in a health class years ago. We had a question box where anyone who was shy could drop a question in and have it answered by the teacher. Every day the box came around and I wrote down. How do you beat your meat Zach? My name's not Zach but the dong head who sat next to me was. He got yelled at almost daily. Not a teacher but still relevant. In high school I had a friend who really really wanted to get down and dirty but also thought protection was just super inconvenient. One day, he was bragging to me about how he lost his virginity. Not wanting him to reproduce I asked him if he at least used protection to which he replied nor we didn't need to. We were both virgins. When I asked why that mattered, he replied nobody gets pregnant their first time. It's like a freeb. Anyway, she gets knocked up and he concludes she must not have been a virgin since. You know, that's the only explanation. They break up and he starts screwing around with someone else. Thinking he finally learned his lesson. I ask him if he's at least using protection this time. And, once again, he says no. Baffled. I ask why he isn't and he tells me they are just making sure she's on top because she can't get pregnant when she's on top because of gravity. TLDNR. He is paying oh so much child support and I'm left fighting back a facepum induced aneurysm. Gonna share this because it belongs here even though it doesn't fit the format. My ex went to Bible college in Nebraska. Her roommate, Amy, had been homeschooled and college at 19 was the first time she could interact with others while not with her parents. Like everyone else who sees this as 4 years to snag a husband or become an unmarriable spinster, she got boyfriends. One of the school activities was this group that went to schools and churches to sing song, do skits, and warn about heck all about not having intercourse. It was a bit vague. They never mentioned junk and biological drives. Instead it was about the devil tempting kids to be cool. Cool was demonstrated by kids that wore sunglasses and pretended to smoke, which led to intercourse and heck. Amos started to show. It was obvious to everyone that she didn't just get her freshman 15, but had an obvious baby bump. They kept her in the group. Her I'm not doing it t-shirt was bulged way out. Eventually someone in the school confronted her. She had no idea that what she let one of her boyfriends do was intercourse. Her mother had told her babies come from seamen, so she was going to avoid sailors. It didn't click at all what message she was singing and acting out was all about. The boyfriend knew exactly what he was doing, knew she was pregnant, and had been making his rounds at that school for a while. Because she didn't know what intercourse use, it took some asking to find out which boyfriend was responsible. Girls eager to marry a future minister will do anything to get that missus degree in college. So there was a shotgun wedding at Thanksgiving. It was a huge deal and hush up because they would forgive anything that a person had done prior to attending that school. But once there a person must be sin free. The official word was that these two lovebirds were engaged for a year. Despite them breaking up and both of them dating others. The mother was pretty far along and the baby was born almost a week after the wedding. We could write questions on paper to remain anonymous. So my friend wrote. And I quote, if gay guys like things going in their bum, do they get aroused when poo comes out of their bum total troll mode? But it did result in our gym teacher saying damn it. A kid in my class for 5th grade health asked would you die if you cut your willy off? If a girl doesn't want a baby, why can't she just pee it out early? Not a question, but one time I was substituting for an 8th grade health class. The teacher wanted me to show a focus on the family video. They are an extremely right wing, intercourse phobic, anti-gay organization. Fortunately, the video described itself as the ultimate guide to teenage intercourse in the 90s. As this was about 2010, I told the students that, if any of them planned on getting dirty in the 90s, to pay attention to the video. Otherwise I'll let them chill and ignore the, terrible, video. Man I love subs like you. Not so much stupid, as really sad, I've had people ask me if the pill will really work for them, since they were told by abstinence only suckers that the pill doesn't work on women under 25 because their hormones are out of whack. 
I've known girls who got knocked up because they'd been told you can't get pregnant your first time. I don't think any of these people are stupid. They have been willfully misinformed their entire lives. It's beyond sad and it absolutely disgusts me that my state refuses comprehensive health ed and doesn't require that it be medically accurate. And that's just heterosexual people. LGBT folks get absolutely no health ed, because that would be encouraging the lifestyle. STD rates are sky high among gay people because no one ever sat them down and discussed the risks of intercourse with them. Science teacher was teaching about artificial insemination to year 7 explained that the sperm and the egg were put together in the petri dish. Well how do they get the sperm after being a teacher for 7 years I never expected such naivety. In 5th grade I asked what a mangina was because I heard it on the boondocks at my cousin's house. I got kicked out of the classroom and wasn't allowed back. Obligatory. I'm not a health teacher. A classmate asked how babies are made. He straight up didn't know. He thought it was done by kissing, and that the tongue had to play effective hockey to prevent the seed from fertilizing the egg, which was found in the stomach. This was 8th grade. Not a health teacher, but a kid in my class asked, what's breasts? Not a health teacher, but when I was 22 my friend, who was slightly older, asked if a girl could get pregnant if a guy's semen genes came into contact with her. In an anonymous question box at the end, how do I stop watching anime P? I said that they should just not watch it. Not a health teacher, but when I had to take health class in middle school another student asked the teacher how many Dixie cups could a girl fill up during her period. Not a stupid question. I've often wondered this myself. You have been visited by the rock and roll doggo. Like and comment rock on doggo to keep doggo's dreams alive. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.